Dr. Michael Chen, welcome to the South China Morning Post. Morning, you know. So you and your team are some of the first researchers in the world to provide evidence that the new coronavirus is much more infectious through the eyes. Why is that? We, we actually have heard about that before, even during the SARS period. People talking about the viruses actually can get stuck the infection through the eye. So that's why the reason why we, we want to get into this, because SARS-2 actually share a lot of similarity with SARS. That's why we use our own method. We try to culture the human conscient type, that is the eye tissue in the leprosy. And then we try to infect the tissue with the SARS-2, and then we compare that with the SARS viruses and see what happens. To, actually, to, not really to our surprise, that we find that the SARS-2 actually can infect through the conjunctiva, the eye epithelial tissues, actually to a much greater extent than the SARS viruses. So when we talk about infection, uh, the, the viruses, the SARS-2 viruses actually can infect the tissue, but not only infection, they actually can produce more new viruses using the eye tissue to extend about 100 times more than the SARS viruses. Okay, 100 times. So you know, what are some of the typical symptoms that might suggest the COVID-19 infection entered through the eyes? So I think in general, when your eye get infection, no matter by viruses or by bacteria or even by allergic, you will have kind of secretion, conjunctitis, which is quite common symptoms. But honestly, I mean, in, in the clinical setting situation right now during the COVID-19 pandemic, we don't really see a lot of patients got conjunctitis. So back to, you know, uh, uh, conjunctitis related viral infection like X7N7 in US before, most of the patients got conjunctitis. So in case you got the conjunctitis or some very sticky suspicions and all this stuff, you may, you may be aware that you probably get something uh, across with your eyes. Okay, so I want to throw this question at you. At the earliest stage of the crisis, people thought, you know, medical staff would adequately be protected just with the N95 mask and protective clothing without the need for protective glasses. What is your response on that? Uh, I, I mean, until now, given we have a very solid scientific evidence showing that the eye can get infected, I, I still think uh, both uh, mask and the eye protection device, which is very important to, to get rid of these infections. But for the eye protection device, I would say that there's actually two, or, or the eye infection actually two different ways. So when you put on your eye, protection device like glasses, you can protect your eye epithelium from getting in contact with the aerosol of the viruses directly. But the personal hygiene, the hand hygiene is actually equally important because uh, as we have studied before, the viruses can survive for quite a long time in, in surfaces. So in case if your hand had get contaminated with the viruses and you rub your eyes, so mm -hmm. it is the case that even if you put on your glasses, you will rub your eye, isn't it? So, so I mean, both, the hand hygiene are actually contribute very importantly uh, towards uh, the protection of your infections. Mm. And of course, like summer is coming up, more summer allergies, we just tend to touch our eyes a little bit more. So does your research suggest that eye protection is just as important as wearing masks when it comes to COVID-19? I, I would say so. Uh, as you, If you really go into the figures that we did, uh, for those cells get infected with the COVID-19 coronaviruses, there's actually quite a lot to so our surprise. Uh, the whole epithelium of the eye actually getting infected. So I would say that these particular SARS-2 viruses mm -hmm. have a due uh, portal of entry in, into human beings, both through the respiratory chat and also through the eye. So that what you mean, that means you have a double chance if the aerosol comes in contact with your face to get infected. Mm. Well, Dr. Michael Chan, some really important notes there. Thank you for your interview today. Thank you.